This is hydrophobic coating. Hydrophobic literally means afraid of water, but it's not actually afraid of water. The chemistry of a hydrophobic coating prevents water molecules from penetrating anything you spray it on. You can get this stuff at the hardware store, and if you want, be science maximites and get an adult and think of the coolest thing you could spray with hydrophobic coating. I like to use things that do not go well when you put them in water, like uh, tissue. Yeah, doesn't look great when it gets wet. Here's a tissue coated in hydrophobic coating. Huh? Weird. Or it works the same with a paper towel. Paper towel in water, paper towel covered in hydrophobic coating, stays dry. Or how about a dinner roll? Dinner rolls really don't like water. See? Gross. But a dinner roll coated in hydrophobic coating? Weird. Just don't eat it. Now, it's time to max it out. I have coated half of my lab coat in hydrophobic coating, and the other half, I have not. Hydrophobic coating, regular lab coat. Half of me is wet, and half of me is dry. What's more, half of my outfit ended up being wet and half dry because the lab coat was protecting my outfit from getting wet. Now it's time to max it out even more. We have coated my entire outfit in hydrophobic spray. My shirt, my pants, and my lab coat. The pants have been taped to rubber boots, so no water's getting in there. And my shirt has been taped to my pants, so no water's getting in there. So here's the question. Can I get into the pool and out of the pool and stay dry? Let's find out. In the pool, out of the pool, and I'm still mostly dry. Now here's what really happened. I got into the pool, and I realized I should have duct taped the pocket, because all the water went in there, down into the rubber boots, started filling up the rubber boots, and now my entire leg is full of water because the hydrophobic coating isn't letting it come out. So the hydrophobic coating isn't keeping the water out, now it's keeping the water in.